Hey guys, Nisk here. Um, today we're going to be starting the CUDA STK. Now, this is going to be something uh, special because I'm going to be starting the CUDA 5 uh, developer preview SDK. Uh, oops, that's the wrong one. I was just going to show the uh, the driver version. To have uh, CUDA 5 SDK, you need to have the driver version uh, trail to like this one. Uh, but I, the only we can get at the moment is if you have the developer account, like I do. Um, okay, but it's the steps should be the same for both uh, 4.2 or 5. Like should be similar. So you can just follow this tutorial for both of them. If you have any problems, leave a comment. Okay, so let's go to software. Uh, CUDA for me, and it's five for my one. So this is just directory where I have all my CUDA stuff. So. There, you can see I installed the driver uh, just a few minutes ago. So now we're going to do the toolkit. Okay. So chmod plus x. Uh, oh, there we go. Um, next executable. And make sure you run it with sudo. Uh, otherwise, you might have problems. Because the toolkit this installs all your software and compilers and stuff, so it needs to sort of privileges. Okay, and yeah, so I but surely. Oh, uh, if you do end up downloading the CUDA uh, preview SDK, uh, yeah, just make sure you download uh, 11. Point Zero four one, like I know it's Ubuntu twelve point four, but it doesn't really matter. Like they say, it's specific to that for now, but it's not really. Okay, um, yeah, this is the bit that always annoyed me. Uh, you need to do export um, path is equal to. Yeah, I think that's it. No, I don't remember my environment variable. I think that's like that. And um, um it's a columns. I think it's column. Actually, you know what? Um, let's just do it that way. Yeah, so it's separated by columns. Oh, columns. Sorry. Jesus. So yeah, we just have to add an extra bit to that. So let's do this. Is equal to the first word itself, and then we're gonna add what was the user could have been. What doesn't I like about this? Okay, I'm gonna pause this for a second to figure it out. Oh, if you let me pause it, come on. Okay, so I figured it out. Um, basically, I do it this way: export. Uh, don't put in the star sign. I forgot about this. Sorry. I was trying to reference it. Uh, yeah, I'm putting the path name first, and then uh, colon and path. Uh, so yeah, just do that. So now, if you do uh, cat reference to pat there there's your uh, could have been uh, library you know what? don't mind this doesn't matter um, hmm okay uh, so let's see we have to do some other ones as well uh, shit uh, we did the pat now we need to do. Oh yes, uh, the library path. Uh, fair enough. Service will take a while. Uh, export is equal to that bullshit thing there was to make it equal to. Um, 
64 distribution, that's me. Again, don't particularly want to check this ending either. Just let's take a fate that there is. Okay, so no problems there. Um, or yeah. So, okay, so that should be it. Um, so now, if we go to an VCC version, which is the CUDA compiler, there we go, we get uh, the version released 5.0. Boom. Um, uh, square, let's do the, the SDK as well. Why about uh, This is going to be a long video. CUDA. Oops. Make sure you spell it wrong, does it's not gonna work? Kidding, don't spell it wrong, it's just me. Um, this one, you don't need the, um, sud uh, the root of sudo. What? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, just run it. So. Um, should I start the libraries before that? I did, so, sorry. Um, it's not bad. So as you say, it uses your home directory. That's why you don't need the boot. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Boom. Jesus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. What was it? Let me make sure that this thing is working properly. Alright, I should have checked it before prompting for it again. That's what I've done. Oh, sugar. Okay. Um. This could be bad. This is not supposed to have not such file directory in it. Oh, bollocks. Please don't tell my fucking zip. Um. No, no fair. Um. We'll fix it. Can we fix it? No, it's fucked. Um, sorry. Uh, da -da -da. I'm just gonna do it again. LD library path. Okay. Now, oh no, it's fine. It's just being weird. No, oh, never mind. It's all good. This is how you install the SDK and code toolkit. So if you go to, uh, oh, what? Oh, the home directory and then Nvidia, to the samples, and oh, we just type in make. It's gonna make a whole bunch of different stuff. In fact, I'm gonna put pause this because it'll take a while. Okay, so that's finally finished compiling. Um, so if we go to uh, our C folder, um, that's where there's gonna be a bunch of um, samples ready for us to check out. So I suppose graphics are the most interesting ones. Uh, so let's go to two. And yeah, let's go to um, volume render. And yeah, if you just go to boom, uh, as you can see, we're rendering stuff in 3D, which means our toolkit is installed properly because we compiled um, this code few. Uh, minutes ago, took forever, but we did it. So there you go. Uh, your two could have took is installed correctly, and it's working. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Sorry for about uh, for the few little slip ups. Um, yeah, 
uh, please like, um, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Also, uh, you might want to tell me what you want to see so that I can actually make the videos. I could make some creative programming tutorials uh, if you guys are up for it, or Java, or C++. Um, yeah, let me know what you want. Cool, thanks for watching guys.